Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to the Scrap Mechanic Mini City. So last episode we checked out some of the trains, but this episode guys, Sir Boomalot and I have built some little tiny stores way over here. We tried designing some stores that fit the main street of the mini city quite well and I think we did a really good job on building these little stores. So we got four stores here. One of these stores was sent to me by someone else and that is actually this pharmacy. And this pharmacy here was made by Windows and we are going to be checking this one out in a little bit. This store next to it is a little convenience store. It is the four store. Quite a strange name guys, I know. But we didn't want to copy any real life stores so we called it the four store. You could kind of probably tell what it is based off of it, it looks okay. Then over here, we have the ice cream shop. Pretty small. It's uh, almost the same size as my cake and pie shop in the original mini city. And you guys have been requesting me to re-add the cake and pie shop to the mini city. And I think I will be doing that in future episodes. I think I might put those stores way over here on the other side of the main street, right in front of the museum. Right about here. I think that would be a good spot for them. And then right next to the ice cream shop, we have the dentistry. Yep, a dentist shop next to an ice cream shop and a pharmacy next to a convenience store. It makes sense. It makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. You eat ice cream, you get cavities, then you go to the dentist store next door, and it's a full cycle. A full 360 degree cycle of profit. <laughs> sure. And then right here, we have a little ice cream truck made by Callum. This is very similar to his original one he made in the original mini city. And I believe this is the old chassis to my ambulance. It's just redesigned and it works pretty well. All right, so first store we are going to check out is this ice cream shop. So let's go inside and check it out. So. All of these buildings here, except the pharmacy, were de designed by Sir Boomalot and I, so it's kind of like a co-collaboration. If you guys don't know who he is, he is essentially Ryan. You guys may know him as Ryan from my old videos. He's really good at designing a lot of these buildings. Alright, so let's head on inside here. On the inside, we got some tables and chairs for people to sit and enjoy their ice cream. We got some really colorful walls, of course. The roof is nice and purple. I don't know why it's purple, but I guess it fits. And then over here, we got a control panel to control the lights and the spinning ice cream cone that is on the roof. Yeah, that that's an ice cream cone, I guess. I couldn't design anything better. That's all I could come up with. <laughs> it works. Okay, we're going to turn that off, though, because it's quite annoying. And then back here, we have the counter with the ice cream refrigerator. I guess that's what it's called. I'm not sure. <laughs> I have no clue how ice cream stores work. But anyways, we got some ice cream flavors in there. We got the spy cakes blue duck flavor there. Sure. We got uh, white flavor and we got mint <laughs> white flavor. What? <laughs> and right here we have the cash register where you buy your ice cream. We have a milkshake machine and some random cups up there. And that's essentially it for the ice cream shop. I'm going to turn the light off here. I'm going to try to add light switches to every single building in the mini city so that I can kind of could serve on the light limit so that future buildings will be able to have lighting in them. I think that's how it works. If not, then that kind of sucks. But this store here has lights, which is nice. All right, so now let's head over to the dentistry because we just checked out the ice cream shop. Now we got to go to the dentist because we have cavities. We should probably check out the ice cream truck, but I think I'm going to check that out last. All right, so let's head inside now. And on the inside, this is like the little lobby and the receptionist desk. We're going to turn on the lights here. And this button here turns on the radios. Let's do that. Awesome. And this is the receptionist desk here. We got a computer. We got a mouse. All the general receptionist stuff that you guys normally see. And then over here, we got the lobby. We got some chairs. We got a table for people to wait at. They got some modern art, I guess. Some more modern art there. Yep. I guess. I'm not sure. We have a fish tank with a fish inside. <laughs> and back here, we have a table with a sink. We have some cabinets for tools and utensils. And then back here, we have 
the dentist table. Yeah, yeah, a dentist table, not a chair, a dentist table. Okay, we're gonna cl click this button to turn the lights on. Whoa. That's crazy. <laughs> I noticed that the light limit's already reached when we turn these ones on. You guys could see that these lights out here turn off. That's kind of weird. But over here, we also have another light. When we turn that on, it turns on these lights for the dentist chair. Look at that. Pretty cool. Sir Boomalot did a really good job on this little dentist office. Um, that's pretty much it for the inside here. Not much to it. We're going to head over to the pharmacy now and check that out. We have a little parking lot here for people to park. It's kind of not the right size. This parking spot's a little bigger. I guess it could be for bigger vehicles. And then let's head over here. You guys may notice that uh, Ryan was here. He kind of did a little bit of graffiti on our walls to kind of show that he was actually here. Yeah, that's that's not my writing, guys. My writing's a lot more neat than that. You could you guys probably know that. All right, so let's head to the pharmacy now. And on the inside of the pharmacy, we have the countertop here where you can hand in your prescription to get your medication. We also have a bunch of random ducks all over. Um, I don't know what medical benefit ducks have, but they are there, I guess. Um, we got a bunch of tables and stuff with medication on them. We got some chairs, of course, to wait for your prescription. And in the back here, we got some chairs for the pharmacy staff to do their work. But yeah, that is pretty much it for the pharmacy here. Thank you, Windows, for setting this. It is very awesome. It fits very well with this kind of area here. It's the Cake City Pharmacy. Pretty cool. All right, so let's head inside the convenience store that Ryan built now. We're gonna head inside. It is pretty cool. I helped him a bit with it, but overall he made most of it. All right, so on the inside here, we have the counter here where you can buy your items. Over here, we have a flavored ice machine. <laughs> this is where you could get uh, slushies and slurpees and stuff like that. Don't sue me. And for the people who follow my jalopy series, we have a little tool rack here. We have the crowbar and we have the jack. And we also have a little fire extinguisher down there. I know this isn't a gas station, but it is a convenience store. And having this stuff here along with tires kind of fits well. And then over here, we have some shelves with a bunch of items. We've got toilet papers, we got uh, prosthetic legs, we got ducks, and we got flowers. And then over here, we have the frozen area. This one's not connected, but these ones are. We have uh, a toilet inside the freezers. We got some cucumbers. <laughs> I don't know why. We got some more stuff in there. We got another prosthetic leg. And we got some more vegetables and stuff of that sort. And then up above, we got some sprinklers. And that is pretty much it for the convenience store here. Ryan did a pretty amazing job. There's not much to these stores. It's more for filling up the empty spots in our city, kind of giving a more depth to the main street here. But if you guys have any suggestions at all for future stores, please let me know in the comments. I could probably fill up this area here with more stores. Maybe I might add some apartment buildings and such over here. I think that would kind of fit the park area a little bit more than all stores. And then way over there, we have more areas for stores as well. I'm not sure how many I can really get out, but we will see. All right, for the last thing, let's check out this little ice cream truck here made by Callum. So we're going to hop in here, close the door, and we got a bunch of buttons here to open the doors and such. Three to do nothing, it's not connected. Four turns the lights on and off, the back lights. All right, let's hop out. Let's check out the inside of the back here. Okay, so let's hop in. In the back here, we got some signs, we got a little crate for storage, and we also have some ice cream flavors there. And a milkshake machine, which is awesome. And if we press this button here, it will extend a little canopy from the roof of the truck and there we go we are deployed and ready to sell some ice cream to some people walking along the sidewalks here we are deployed right outside the dentist building here 
It is really good for profits, guys. When people are done their dental work, they will be hungry, so they'll come outside and they'll want some ice cream. And then when they eat the ice cream, they'll realize they have more cavities and they'll go back inside the dentist office. It's a full loop. It's a full loop of profits, guys. No, that's not how it would work at all. <laughs> all right, so let's close this canopy here. Close the back door here. And that is pretty much it for these little stores. I'm going to be adding some more little stores like this in the future. Like I said, maybe the cake and pie shop. Now the train tracks and stuff will be developed later on once we develop the city a little more. We got to kind of uh, build up the city over here a little more before we kind of continue the loop of the train tracks. Um, these crossings kind of glitch sometimes, as you can see here. They are stuck underneath the road here. Which is kind of weird. There we go. I fixed it. But anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for this episode. So if you enjoyed, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. And thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.